guys, today we're reacting to Thomas and Friends, a brush with, a brush with fame. So let's get started. Sight awaited him. Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle surrounded by throngs of people. An important looking man spoke to Thomas, smiled, then walked away. Who was that, Thomas? Asked Bear. The thin clergyman's son, Thomas grunted. He's an author too and just released another book about me. <laughs> you sound almost displeased, yeah. chuckled Bear. I am, Thomas fumed. All he ever writes about are my misfortunes. The fat controller has me running excursions to celebrate the book's release, but the passengers won't stop talking about my blunders. I've had triumphs too, you know. Follies make good fables, I suppose, Bear smiled. Besides, not all engines get books written about them. You're lucky. Everyone knows who you are. Bear sighed. I often think no one knows who I am. Oh I'm grateful for the life I have. But sometimes I feel like wallpaper compared to the rest of you. I never even met the thin clergyman's son. I suppose some engines are just more inspirational. <laughs> second guys i'm just gonna take care of this all right now that that's been done thomas felt very guilty as he watched bear go he knew what he had to do please sir bear deserves a book of his own i'm sure your readers are eager to hear more about him the author sighed i love to write about bear thomas but i'm at the mercy of the publishers they want stories focused on you i've tried to write about other engines but without your involvement, the publishers won't even entertain the idea. My hands are unfortunately tied. As the author strode away, a cheeky grin spread across Thomas's face. Oh, no. I'll give Bear a story with my involvement to boot. Oh, no. The excursion train started from the big station. Thomas pulled Annie and Clarabelle along the main line, then up his branch line once they reached the junction. After tea and refreshments at Farquhar, Thomas brought the passengers back to the big station. All the way, the author would give speeches about his books. Because the train started from the big station, Thomas slept at Tidmouth with the big engines. When he returned that evening, he saw Bear asleep in the lonely corner of the shed. Worry not, Bear, he whispered. Tomorrow your wish will come true. Aww. They want to do what? Thomas's driver asked the next morning. It's a uh, special event, Thomas stammered. The author needs materials for his oh, next book. And no! I, uh, that is stop! the fat controller. I have the like idea this. to stage a mishap. I'll leave with the wrong coaches and Bear will chase after me with Annie and Clarabelle. The visitors will get to be part of an actual story. Riveting stuff. Takes all kinds, I suppose, muttered the driver. Everyone was surprised when Thomas arrived at the platform with different coaches. Thomas, asked the author, where are Annie and Clarabelle? Oh, um, there was a, uh, problem with Henrietta's brakes. Toby needed them to take the workmen to the quarry. We'll meet them at the junction. I didn't see Toby this morning, said the author, confused. Oh, well, he was probably here and gone in a flash. Quick for his age. That's our Toby. Come now, please come aboard, Thomas urged. There was no time to question further. So the passengers got in, the guard blew his whistle, and Thomas scuttled away immensely pleased with himself. Yeah, hang on, just doing my YouTube video. Not long after, Bear came looking for his coaches. He was surprised to see Annie and Clarabelle. What are you two still doing here? Sorry, Where's guys? Thomas? We're wondering the same thing, fussed Annie. Wonder no oh, longer. I know where he is. The fat controller strode up. There we go. Bear, please take Annie, Clarabelle, and I to the junction. 
The Jinx Thomas fancies himself an author. Uh-oh. Oh, now he's in trouble. At the junction, trouble. Thomas was swarmed by his irate passages. We paid for a trip with Thomas and his coaches. Where are they? Contrary to what you've been told, I don't oh, know, replied Toby, no! glaring at a blushing Thomas. Thomas so, said the author. Henrietta's brakes are in fine form, sir, replied Henrietta. Unless Thomas knows something I don't. W well, Thomas stuttered. You see, a horn echoed in the distance. There was Bear rumbling down the line with Annie and Clarabel in tow. The passengers cheered as he drew up to the platform. I think you forgot something, Thomas. Yes, came a stern sound voice. The coaches and your common sense. Oh, Watch no, out to shave yourself. Thomas sighed and explained his conversations with Bear and the author. I thought, sir, if I could bring Bear to the author, sir. Well, the author might bring Bear into his book, sir. I appreciate your feelings, Thomas, replied the fat controller. But need I remind you, we are a real railway that runs on giant tables, not tall tails. Such tricks on the main line are unacceptable. It's clear you cannot be trusted to run these trains. Pardon me, sir, said the author. But without Thomas, how would the passengers get to the junction? Hold on. Who's this? Interject one of the visitors, pointing at Bear. I haven't seen him in this book, said another, thumbing the pages furiously. The fat controller turned to the author, smiling broadly. I have just a ticket. Hey, the next he morning, the visitors so... were thrilled to see Bear arriving at the platform. They wanted to know all about him and didn't even notice Thomas who had been relegated to shunting, pushing Annie and Clarabelle behind him. Nice to relive the old days, isn't it? Smirked Clarabelle. Thomas harumphed and said nothing. Oh, come on, Thomas! The you author gave Bear had difficulty his dream. talking about his new book, for everyone wanted to know about the new diesel. Toby at the junction. Well, there, chuckled the author. You might get your book sooner than you think. My publishers will certainly be hearing about you. Bad luck for Thomas, though, smiled Bear. He was tired of you detailing his misfortunes. But dare I say, he's written his own fate. video guys this is gamer 101 signing out adios everybody